Hello and welcome to another Geist Quick Tip. This week we're going to be taking a look at sampling in Geist and specifically Geist's threshold sampling modes and how we can use them to very quickly create multi samples just within Geist. I'm using Geist as a plugin in Ableton Live here, but this could be achieved in any host or indeed using Geist standalone. I'm going to be using Geist to multi sample my modular synthesizer. I've set up a project here in Ableton Live. The first track is a MIDI track which plays the same note 8 times with 8 different velocities and I've set my modular synthesizer up to respond to those 8 different velocities to give me changes in the sound. The second track in the project is an audio track and this is monitoring input number 9 from my sound card which is where the modular synthesizer is connected to. So if I play this MIDI track you should hear the input of the modular synthesizer. The third track in the project contains the Geist plugin. Now in order for Geist to sample my synthesizer, I need to route the audio from track 2 to track 3. In live, this is done with the audio output drop down menu. If your host doesn't support audio routing in this manner, you can use the Spitter plugin. Spitter is an effects plugin which can be put on any audio channel. Once inserted, the Spitter will appear as an option in the sampler's source drop down menu. I'm going to stick to my original plan of routing the audio just using Ableton Live. So for my source, I'm going to choose external. I'm going to switch sampling to mono and I'm going to turn through on which allows us to monitor the signal coming through. So far so good. The next step is to enable threshold mode. You'll see some extra options appear on the right and these allow us to set the thresholds for Geist to automatically start and stop sampling. I can set these whilst monitoring the input. Let's see if those work. I'm going to arm the sampler and you'll notice that nothing is recorded yet. However, as soon as I play that MIDI clip, Guy should automatically sample each incoming note and split them into different takes. That worked perfectly. I'm going to take the sampler out of arm mode and put the auto zoom mode so there's no zooming and we can take a look at the eight different takes. <laughs> the next thing I like to do just so that we have perfectly trimmed samples is do some very precise trimming to the beginning of each sample and for this I use the auto zoom mode which will focus on the start point of the sample. So all I have to do for each take is move the start point, crop and move on. Now all that's left to do is to get these eight different takes onto a pad. I'm going to name my sample FM FX. I'm going to select an empty pad and then from the export send menu I'm going to choose export all takes to free layers on current pad and that's going to fill the eight layers on that pad with the eight takes that we've got. 
Now Guy's going to ask me for a location to save these files. And there they all are on pad 6. If I go to the pads layers page of pad 6, we can see the eight different takes have automatically been layered up on successive layers. So the first thing I'm going to do is switch the pad mode to velocity split and click the auto button. I'm also going to reduce the velocity to amplitude because I actually don't want that for this. Now we should see, depending on the incoming velocity, different layers being triggered. I can rename my pad FMFX. Oops. FMFX. So there you have it, really quick multi-sampling in FX Banshin Geist. Thank you.